Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to use the Chris tool and how to um, work with uh, history. So we've got this um, object here. Um, let me go to edge mode. There's a way you can actually make the lips plump, you know, make it more defined by clicking uh, that, um, cl clicking the edge. Pre uh, press left on your keyboard to actually loop around the lip then go into um, edit mesh then crease tool so what you want is this little arrow middle mouse click middle mouse click and drag okay that gives it a more defined um, lip, if you've noticed. You can tell the difference between that and uh, you know, it's a pretty cool tool if you if you ask me. That's how it works. That. Or that see that to a big difference so that's how this tool works um now let's go to history let's if we go to um this object I'll talk less by the way let me do it quicker Yep, rubber band select. About that much. Face rubber band select. About that much. Then go into into edit mode, then extrude. Okay. If we extrude it outside like that, tweak it a little. Um, make it flat a little, tweak it, and tweak it like that. Then we put him inside. Maybe add a couple of um, edge loops. Insert edge loops. Add a couple. Maybe three. That's about. Yeah, that's that's all right. Then, um, maybe. Yeah, I just want to show you how history works. So you've seen everything that we've done. Everything that we've done is being recorded on the right hand side. So, if we go again and um, let's see, click on this edge. Sometimes it's hard to click on this edge. Might as well extrude. It's not as good as I wanted it to be, but anyway, um, if we exclude every everything is being recorded. Bear in mind. So we can see our history in our channel box here. We start with the polysphere. We pull. We extruded its face. We tweaked it a little bit, then put a few a few edge loops, and extruded uh, the edge again. So this is uh, exactly what we did, and it's all been um, recorded on here. If we go to the um, attributes editor, we can see that we start with the spear, then poly extrude, poly split, all that extra stuff is being recorded in here as well. You know, it starts from here. There, all, everything that we've di we've done is um, being recorded as well as its attributes. So if we go to um, if we go to our first extrusion, 
extruded the face we've got all the uh, details here and we can also um we can also twist it and all that we can also uh, manipulate it more than what we've already done we can add uh, poly extrude face history we can add the divisions we can add the divisions or put it back to where it was and you know you can do some extra extra work in here another place that you can find the history is um into the hypershade connections so if we go into windows hypershade connections you see everything that we've done being do uh, it's uh, documented here it says we had we start with the sphere then poly extrude poly we tweaked it a little bit then put a few um few edge loops three edge loops then poly extruded again then you know everything has been documented in here so uh, that's a cool thing and um one thing that I need to mention is uh, the fact that if you actually using his, if you don't delete your history every now and again, your because this is how Maya works, okay? Maya works like this: you actually do whatever it is that you have to do, model or whatever, it records everything. All right. <clears throat> now, if you if you save that, <clears throat> excuse me, if you sell, if you serve, if you save that file onto your hard drive or whatever. And you try to reload it. It would take a long time to load, longer than usual, depending on um, the history that you've got. And again, it just drags your computer. The more history you've got, the 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 slower the computer will be. And again, your work looks messy. Okay, if you want to uh, go back to a mistake that you made, or you want to change a couple of things, you have a lot of history. Like you can go up to thousand lines of history. So you don't want that. You don't want to get you don't want your object to get that complicated so to avoid those complications you can go into edit you can uh, go into edit and delete your history you can either delete by type history or the history can be del deleted or you've got the option of actually deleting non deformer history so this is um, mainly in animation if you want to def uh, to delete your non deformer history non deformer history are uh, things that cannot be deformed. An example that I can give you is skin is a deformer history. So skin can be deformed. You, you, skin can deformed can be deformed. So things that cannot be deformed are things like maybe he, um, shoe heels and um, you figure it out uh, once but once you you go into um, animation but for now you can for now all you need to know is you've got all these options okay you can also delete by channel by sound you can also delete delete by type okay you can delete by type you can delete by type history the whole history delete by type channel you can delete by type clothes strokes particles rigs it's it's uh everything that you work with in maya so yeah i just wanted you guys to know that there's a way you can um actually use the crease tool and you can also delete history to make your work lighter and easy to work with so whenever you ha you happy with your model it's um, best I, I can advise you to actually delete once you're happy with it make sure you delete the history and uh, move on so speaking of moving moving on I'm, I'm done talking let's um, move on to uh, something new thank you very much bye